Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve a problem involving Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law describes the relationship between the pressure and volume of a gas when temperature is held constant. Using words, Boyle's Law can be described like this. If the pressure of a gas increases, the volume of the gas will decrease. Or we can say it the other way. If the pressure of a gas decreases, the volume of the gas will increase. Using an equation, Boyle's Law can be described like this. P1V1 equals P2V2. Basically, this is showing the relationship between two sets of conditions. The before conditions, represented by the ones, and then after some change occurs, the conditions are represented by the twos. This equation has four variables, and for chemistry homework, you are usually going to be given three of the variables, and then you'll solve for the fourth unknown variable. Here's the kind of homework question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. A balloon contains 13.3 liters of helium gas at a pressure of 102 kilopascals. What is the volume of helium when the pressure decreases to 38.2 kilopascals? Before I start to solve a question like this, I try to organize the information. I'll use red to highlight what the question is asking me to solve for. It says, what is the volume of helium? I also like to write in the symbol from the equation so I can keep track of everything. So I'll put in V2 because this is going to be the volume when the conditions change. Next, I'm going to use green to highlight the given information. The starting conditions are given first. The balloon starts with a volume of 13.3 liters. I'll label that V1. And the pressure is 102 kilopascals, so that will be P1. Remember that the ones are the starting or the initial conditions. Then something changes. In this case, the pressure changes to 38.2 kilopascals. So I'm gonna label it as P2. I already labeled V2, so now I know what everything means. Now I'm gonna write down the equation. P1V1 equals P2V2. I need to do some rearranging because I wanna solve for the unknown, which is V2. I need to get rid of the P2 on this side and get it over to the other side. So I'll divide this side by P2 to cancel it. Whatever I do on this side of the equation, I have to do to the other side. So my equation would become P1V1 divided by P2. That's equal to V2. Now I can just plug in all the variables that I labeled in the question. P1 is 102 kilopascals, V1 is 13.3 liters, and P2 is 38.2 kilopascals. Now I can plug all of this into my calculator. I'm gonna round my answer to three digits because each of the given variables had three significant digits. And so my answer would be 35.5, and the unit is liters because liters is the unit used for volume. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.